Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, and thanks for coming back for another video. Now, today's video, I just want to cover just a quick topic. If you guys happen to work on your car by yourself out in the driveway or, you know, wherever you uh, work on your car at. The email that I received from someone uh, was stating they feared a little bit about jacking up the vehicle and how you do that. So I just quickly wanted to show you guys how I usually jack up the car and uh, make it feel a little bit safe but you have to do what you have to do because the car weighs if you look on the uh driver's side on the door sill you'll see that the car weighs almost six thousand pounds so you have a jacking point that's directly underneath here and if you come to the back you have a jacking point that's right underneath of this spot here flattest surface that I possibly can to have the car at. And then I work my way up. Um, ugh, take that off, work my way up to where the, you have to try to come behind here and line it up so that it's perfect uh, with the thing. And that's actually right here. So I'm a little bit behind and over. So it's a little bit here. Let me see if I can keep going up. Now, we kind of look underneath here, you'll kind of see where it needs to be and where that is. So I'm gonna try to line it up and hope you guys can kind of see it. Jack it up right back. We just kind of jack the car up and up it goes. And then, Down it goes. Here you have, here's where the driver's side is. Here's about where the engine is at. And then here's the front of the vehicle. Now, when you kind of want to jack this up with your typical kind of floor jack, you'll see something. Get to the middle of the car, won't happen. All right, so if you're not uh, having one of those super long extended uh, floor jacks, or you don't have an additional one. Here's a quick tip to try to lift up the car enough so that you can slide the smaller jack that I have to get to that center point. All right, so you take off the plastic clip here and then we're going to ex put the jack that came with the car inside and jack the vehicle so, up. That, I I really feel this is the scariest jack ever made, but is effective and it really works and it saves on space. So just jack it up this old fashioned way. All right, so once you get underneath the car and you have it jacked up, what you're looking for is the mount that's right there, right here in the center. There's the uh, engine compartment and you can see the rack and pinion. And then that's where the jack is at. So you're trying to get it to reach right here to the center mount that actually is a perfect uh, jacking spot uh, for jacking up the car. But you just have to really work at getting uh, your jack if you don't have an extended one all the way to this point. So you have to be creative. All right, so especially here at the rear of the, rear of the car, there isn't any kind of jacking points or anything like that to kind of see. A lot of people just a lot of people actually just end up jacking up the car with the rear differential. Uh, since this car weighs so much, I don't feel so comfortable doing that. So I just really strongly suggest just jacking it up pretty much here on the sides here. And if you have two jacks or something like that to just kind of raise the rear up just to be extra safe because this car weighs so much. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video for today. And just remember once again, the 55s, the 600s and the 65s uh, are a little bit more heavier than the 430s and the 500s. So just to use a little bit of caution, you can put on the emergency brake or you can cock the wheels into the back, but uh, just make sure you don't get crushed by the car. So that's gonna make it uh, about it for today. Thanks for joining me for this video and I will see you in the next one.